Now again, it's, um, it's back to the, the little kind of mini review things of the ones that aren't really commonly talked about, you know, niche and indie. And one of them is, um, well, as you can see, it's Reflection from uh, Mask Milano. I'm not sure I've, uh, I did a little mini one on this, but anyway, it's a more in-depth one than that. And I find it a shame, I mean, I'm not going to rant about this every time I do these videos. But obviously, Mass Milano kind of, you know, were, were very popular. And um, it's almost like once the PR stopped, and once having a new bottle, which you must have on uh, YouTube instantly, a lot of these fragrances seem to disappear, don't they? But this is a truly great one. This is, I'm not a freshy person, and this. This is this is the freshest, brightest fragrance you will ever come across. It's it's really special. And um, I'm not going to go. You know, what's the point going through all the notes again? This is it's basically like a bright mimosa. There's a couple of different musks in there. There is a kind of soapy feel with it, which makes it perfect for the ridiculously hot weather. And there's also a kind of nice muskiness about it. There's other florals in there. There might be some ylang osmanthus. I can't. I don't know off the top of my head. I'm not going to lie. Um, but it's, it's primarily the the big bright sunshiny um, mimosa, isn't it? Do you know what? It's always bloody dog walkers everywhere, isn't it? And I know I'm one of them. I think there was a path down here. Anyway, yeah, it's bright sunshiny mimosa. Now. What, what this fragrance is to me is you can look at it in two ways. It is a kind of bright, sunshiny day. I'm back and still alive. Oh God. Yeah, it's either a bright, sunshiny day with kind of this ultra fluorescent sunlight glowing all over you. Or you can look at it in a, in a kind of different way, which to me, because it's so fluorescent, look at them pretty poppies. Um, because it's so fluorescent and bright and and out there, you could look at it as a kind of rave fragrance, which is the path. Uh, I think I might be stuck in here now. This is a big regret. <laughs> yeah, a rave with kind of, you know, fluorescent lights, glow sticks. Lots of kind of beautiful, uh, crazy goings on. You know, it, it makes you think of them kind of sweaty nights. You know, the whistles, everybody's wearing bright pink or a luminous yellow and that kind of thing. And you, whistles in the sky, you've got the strobe lights everywhere. And it's, it's really quite like that. And it, it takes me to these places. I wouldn't call it necessarily for such a bright yellow fragrance. Warm isn't the word I'd use for it because it's, it's more refreshing. You do get a sense of warmth from the colour of it and that, that kind of feeling. But actually it's, it's more about the, the light. And it's, it's really strange, to me always anyway, that you can smell light in a fragrance. But you most certainly can with this one. It's... Um, yeah, it's my favourite freshie, if you like. And I think the musks, like I mentioned before, are what, what kind of add the ultimate element to this because the, the, the clean soapy muskiness and then the kind of more intoxicating musk. Now, I wouldn't call it like a, a slightly human-y musk. It's more clean. It's like a human just out of a shower. The beginning of the rave, if you like. Um, anyway, that's just my kind of brief overview of Reflection. Don't want to waffle on needlessly for hours on end. But a little more detail. What about yourselves? What's your brightest fragrance? What's your kind of um, go-to sunshine or kind of rave-like scent? And uh, again, if there's any, any of the lesser spoken ones you know I've got that you want me to talk about, please let me know. All right. Bye, folks. Bye.